Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm your host, Jim Dempsey. Well, here we are in the middle of December and we are getting closer and closer to year end. We are just a week away from Christmas and two weeks from New Year's. And so it the, the month is speeding by. I hope at this point that you have already begun to move things along in your year end strategy. By now, your letters should be out. You should have already been calling people. And now you really should be probably in the middle of meeting with people. If you aren't already or you may even be past that, it's important that if you have some people that you need to meet with at year end, especially your critical few, or if you've got a project or a program that needs additional funding or needs new funding, now is just a great time to get people. Now you don't have a lot of time left because as we start to move into the week before Christmas, it's important for you to get to people before they head out on vacation and that you make sure that you are getting to them as quickly as possible before they head out of town. So I hope that you're seeing some really great success at this point in time and I hope this channel, these videos and our social media tips are really making a difference. If they are and you haven't subscribed, please go down, subscribe and click the all bell to be notified of future videos and continue to watch my playlist that's been out there of videos for year end. So it's important that you get out there. Let's dive into our question for the week. Our question this week is from Kelly in Harrisonburg, Virginia. And Kelly asks, is it too late to start a year end strategy being that it is mid December? What can I do that would be effective? Well, Kelly, I thank you for that question. And it really is a good one because you probably, like a lot of nonprofit leaders, are extremely busy at this time of the year. And depending on what you've been able to do at all, you may be so focused if you've got a rescue mission or if you've got some organization that that really works with and has an audience that is either fed or nurtured during this time of the year. This may be so busy and the last thing that you're thinking about is raising money and working with your donors. But in these last two weeks, it's still important that you reach out to people. At a minimum, if all you can do is send out an email to people, I would send out a, a group email to your largest audience, but I would set I would set aside and I would segment a small handful of people for very targeted emails. And I would challenge those people to consider giving. That's generally going to be your critical few. And I would try and get that out if you can possibly do it somewhere the 19th and the 20th, if you can possibly do that. And what I would recommend, you could leave it there, but I would recommend really that you would follow up with a phone call with those individuals. And because you're getting so close to Christmas and so close to year end, I would try and do it either Tuesday or Wednesday or maybe Thursday before Christmas, but then pause and then start calling back again somewhere around the 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. And Many people surprisingly work that week and it's a good week to reach out to people to try and get those last minute gifts. So that's definitely some of the things that you can do. But remember that 15% of the giving for nonprofit organizations come in the last week of the year. And so it's amazing how much can be done just by some targeted emails, letters potentially, but I think the mail would just take too long to get there. But you can also make sure that you call people. And frankly, if all you can do is pick up the phone 
and call someone. That's going to make a great impact as well too. Don't feel like you have to have an email that goes out to people, especially someone who likes you, likes what you're doing, and has a heart for your cause. And they have helped you in the past. Picking up the phone and just calling them is not bad. Is it nice to have a preparation email, something to get them thinking? Absolutely. But if all you can do is pick up the phone and even call five to 10 people who are your most significant donors, that's going to make a great and tremendous impact on your end. So Kelly, I hope that that helped. You are not at all alone. I've talked to enough nonprofit leaders who are just swamped at this time. The last thing they're looking at and thinking about is raising money, but many of them are starting to move now in these last few weeks. Their gifts have been given already by major donors, but there's still more to come in these last two weeks. So don't give up, get out there and begin doing that. So if you enjoyed the content of this video, please hit the subscribe button and click the all bell to be reminded of future videos. Follow me out on Instagram at Jim W. Dempsey. Make sure that you submit questions on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java and join our Facebook community group where we respond to your questions and also give you helpful information. So as I say every video, I'm here to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.